Uh, good morning, students. I'm Sir Aristotle P. Clemente, your teacher in Science 7. Today, we will talk about the parts and function of microscope. But first, what is a microscope? The microscope is an important tool in the study of living things. It contains lens or combination of lenses to produce highly magnified or enlarged images of small objects or specimens. The most common type of microscope is what we call a compound microscope. Here is an example of a compound microscope. Later on class, we will going to discuss its different parts and its functions. The word compound is used because in order to magnify an image, a path of light from the source will pass through different lenses where each lens enlarges the image formed by the previous lenses. Now that we know the microscope, it is time for us to identify its parts and its function. The parts of a compound microscope can be divided into three groups. Number one, we have what we call the magnifying parts, which compose of lenses. Example of that is, number one, we have the objective lenses and the eyepiece. The second part or group is what we call the illuminating parts. When we say illuminating parts, it provides and manages light sources. Okay? Number one part of the illuminating group is the diaphragm and the mirror or an electric light bulb. Number three is what we call the mechanical parts in which it involves number one the coarse adjustment knob number two the fine adjustment knob number three stage and stage clip we have the arm and we also have the base revolving nose piece and the body tube anyway when we say mechanical parts it provides and support the other parts of our microscope as I've said a while ago class, our compound microscope has three major parts which are magnifying parts, the illuminating parts, and the mechanical parts. But first, let's start with the magnifying parts. Our magnifying parts are composed of number one, the eyepiece. Here is our eyepiece. Okay? Our eyepiece can uh, magnify up to 10 times and 15 times. And then, the function of the eyepiece is that it contains a lens that magnifies the specimen. Next one is what we call the objective lenses. Okay, class. Here is our objective lenses. As you can see, we have here three objective lenses. Kasi nakadepende kasi yan kung gano kalaki yung mapuform na image doon sa ating specimen. And the function of our objective lenses is that it magnifies our specimen about 40 times of its compared to its original size. Next is, the next part is the illuminating parts. And it is composed of the diaphragm and the mirror or an electric light bulb source. Let's start with the diaphragm. Here is our diaphragm. It is located in the um, middle portion of our microscope. Okay? What is the function of our diaphragm? Our diaphragm controls the amount of light passing through the opening of the stage. The next part is what we call our mirror or an electric light bulb. Plus, in our case, 
This is an example of a simple compound microscope. It is composed of a mirror because there are certain types of microscope that doesn't have a mirror but instead it has a light bulb. Our light bulb is very important because the image depends on the light source of our microscope. Now, we will now proceed to the mechanical parts. So, our mechanical parts involves, number one, we have the coarse adjustment. Here in our microscope, here is our coarse adjustment. So, it can be adjusted um, upward or downward. As long as, ito kasi nagbabari to. So, depende yung adjustment mo kung clear na yung specimen na gusto nating makita sa ating compound microscope. Okay? So, there are times na kahit na ina-adjust na natin siya, it is, the specimen is not yet clear. So, in that case, we will now proceed to the second part, which is what we call the fine adjustment. Okay? So, what is the function of the fine adjustment? Or the fine adjustment knob. Here it is. Our fine adjustment knob moves the body tube for focusing with a high power objective lens. Okay. Next part is our stage and our stage clip. So, where is our stage and stage clip? This part is what we call the stage. On the other hand, this particular part is what we call the stage clip. So, as you can see, na-adjust kasi siya kasi pag nilagay natin yung ating slide dito, hindi siya mauhulog. So, yun ang function kung bakit siya nag-clip. Okay? The next part of our compound microscope is what we call the arm. So, plus, this part is the arm of our compound microscope. So, its function is very simple. It simply supports our body tube. Next part is what we call the, the body tube. Okay, so this part of our microscope is what we call the body tube. So its function is that it separates the eyepiece lens from the objective lenses. So as you can see, here is our eyepiece lens. So we discussed that a while ago. And this is our objective lenses. So the ones that separated them is what we call the body tube. Now, we will now proceed to the last part of our compound microscope. So, the last part is what we call the nose piece. So, here is our nose piece. This part class is the nose piece. What is the function of a nose piece? It holds the low power and high power objective lenses. It also allows the lenses to rotate for viewing. So, it allows our objective lenses to rotate and it also holds our objective lenses. Okay, so that's it for today class. So, I hope that you learn a lot from our lesson about the compound microscope. Happy learning!